customers recognize that businesses need to turn a profit and they need to make sales. And so it is not outside of the realm of expectation that somebody's going to try to make a sale. Social networks are very familiar. They're friendly. There's a one-to-one -one conversation that is there. The visibility of your brand will help aid awareness to drive somebody toward an eventual sale. If you come off too aggressive, it's going to be off-putting. They're going to unfollow you. They may say negative things about your brand. And see so to do things in the right way, which is a friendly, familiar approach to recognize when there's an opportunity and to talk to that customer and see if they are ready to make that move. Nobody likes being oversold to or reached out to without permission. One tendency for customers is to try and avoid such people who do these things. Uh, but there are positive uh, people on Twitter, on FriendFeed, on Facebook, who can make that kind of connection, which is a familiar way that you would have with the type of sales rep that you would want to go to dinner with. Uh, where you are familiar and you recognize that at the end of the day he's going to ask for a deal. And you're going to be willing to do that because you know who they are. A number of companies have taken to social networks to try and offer specific deals to customers, especially those who are most tapped into the brand. A great example of that is Dell Computer. Uh, they have a Dell outlet, uh, Twitter, which shows specific sales on laptops, desktops, monitors as they come in. And they've turned more than $2 million in sales just from their Twitter account alone, which, as we know, costs very little money just the people to put the updates out. So what people are finding is that sales and social networks are not two completely different items. The fact is that people will engage and have a personal relationship, but the opportunity for sales is there for willing customers. You've seen the advice, now it's time to take action. Join us to discuss this advice, search for more expert advice, or tell us about your biggest problems in business.